to quote one of the most powerful and prolific poets of our time. The lead singer of LMFAO once said in his recent song, I'm sexy and I know it, that when he walks on by, girls will be looking like damn fly. When I walk down the street, walk like a freaking manula chic. Yeah, this is how I roll, and we'll print pants out of control. It's right with a big ass row, fool. And like Lucy, I got the clock, yeah. <laughs> and he poetically stated that when he walks in the spot, this is what he sees. Everyone stops and looks at me. I got passion in my pants and I ain't afraid to show it. I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> when recently asked what this song meant, what was the point, he actually stated a very important truth. That he felt that he was sexy and it didn't matter to anybody else. This is a truth that we deal with in our lives every day, and it needs to be understood. This leads us to our quotation tonight by Winston Churchill, which states that the most simple and important definition we make in our lives is the definition of who we are. I agree on this quotation completely. And we'll look at this a little bit deeper in three separate ways. We'll first look at George Herbert Mead's symbolic interactionism. We'll then look at Jeremy Lin from the New York Knicks, and last but not least, we'll look at the television show that has 4,245 episodes. No, you heard me right. So let's go ahead and let's start with George Herbert Mead and symbolic interactionism. This idea from one of the founding fathers of communication states that words are arbitrary, and yet we give meaning to them. Let's keep on subject with the term sexy. When I think of sexy, may not what you think is sexy. I may think of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We give meaning to the words. It's our responsibility. Such words as slut, whore, dyke, faggot have been abused and once again are nothing but arbitrary letters that we have given meaning to. Herbert Mead states that it is our responsibility each day to understand the meanings and the definitions that we give and then make the important choice of how to use them. Race is an important factor and it was no different with Jeremy Lin in the New York Knicks. Now you may have heard of the crazy success of Jeremy Lin. Lin Sanity as many call it. And many people wanted to show something for the amazing progress that one of the few Asian Americans has done at the National Basketball Association. So Ben and Jerry's came up with their latest ice cream, Lynn Sanity, and it was good. Vanilla <laughs> yogurt. But the problem was what was in the yogurt. Fortune cookies. Many people thought this was a racist move. Complained, even though many reporters said, well, why are there 50 Asians down in the store trying to get it? Yet when Jeremy Lynn was asked himself, what do you think? He says, to be honest, I think it tastes good. <laughs> and yet the truth lies deeper. Jeremy Lin didn't get caught up while other people did. And ironically, they missed the truth that the yogurt contained a fruit called lychee, which is also from Southeastern Asia, which was used, much like honey, to only embrace Jeremy Lin's heritage as a Southeast Asian. And last but not least, you may be thinking of the show, 4,200, what show is that? Let me just remind you. Sunny day, sweeping the clouds away. Take me down to where the air is sweet. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> I, I don't believe that there's someone right now going, where is, where is that? <laughs> In all of its time, over 25 years, many children's television shows have gone by the wayside. Yet Sesame Street has remained stable. And when Jim Henson asked, why? What have you done? He said, because there is a simplistic idea that defines who we are. And that is every time the parents, and more importantly the children, can rely on the word of the day, the number of the day, and the letter of the day. And that is the simplistic truth of who we are. So today, We've looked at George Herbert Mead's symbolic interactionism. We've also looked at Jeremy Lin, the New York Knicks, and last but not least, Sesame Street. But let's go back to that poetic man who so eloquently stated the following truth from LMFAO. When I'm at the mall, security just can't fight them all. And when I'm at the beach, I'm at a speedo trying to tan my cheeks. Yeah, this is how I roll. Animal print pets out of control. 
Come on, baby, credit to the bar, don't be nervous. No shoes, no shirt, and I still get service. <laughs> it's Winston Churchill. <laughs> it matter. Because the important truth is what we make of ourselves. And just like LMFAO said, he's sexy and he knows it. And that's all that matters.